Let's try this again. I'm having connection issues for some reason. We've had a lot of rain here, and I also live way out in the country, and we don't have the best internet service. Let's see, I see somebody watching, so let's keep our fingers crossed that it's going to work and not kick me off again. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Hopefully it doesn't kick me off. I really hope it does not. So I'm Cindy, it's Friday Eve, it's Thursday. And hello. Um, so tonight we are going to work on this cup that we started last week. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do with it. Um, this won't be a super long live, but I figured I would show y'all how you use the texture magic and we're gonna do it on this cup to kind of create that desert scene. I am Cindy with Southern Belle Glitter and I am right outside of Clarksville, Tennessee, but I'm actually in Kentucky. So please pop on and tell me where you are watching from. I would love to know. Um, so I'm gonna look just to make sure that we're all good. I am right outside of Okay, house. it looks like we're okay. So yay, yay, yay. Okay, so what we're gonna use tonight is we're gonna use the Texture Magic. And what that does is you can use it on furniture. I'm gonna use it on this cup to just kind of give some more depth um, to it. Um, and we're gonna create this desert scene and I've got a whole spread of um, colors that I want to use. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all how I mix it and then how I stipple it on. Um, and we'll just hop right into it. So as you can see, I've already, like this is the cup that we worked on. Um, how, well, this is the cup we worked on last week, but we're kind of going off of this cup. But I added some texture magic. Hopefully you can see it. You can. You can see we've got some raised areas there. And then I also did the, the eagle up there. So it's really cute. So this will get another coat of epoxy and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so I just kind of placed a template down here. I figured we'd do some green in there, um, some black inside of there. I've got a sun I'm gonna put on here um, as well. So I figured it would be great to do that. So I'm gonna like turn y'all and we are going to bring it on down here. And let me get my light so maybe it doesn't have such a cast there. And the light's got such a, a cast tonight. Hmm. Maybe if it just turned it off. Just a little bit, let's see. Let's see if that works. Okay, we'll just go with that. We'll just go with that tonight. That will be fine. Okay, so we're gonna do this. So I've got the Texture Magic, okay? And it can create um, like a chippy look. Let's just turn this off. I feel like it's not, it's not working. I've just got a little bit of a shadow, but I think we can make it work. Um, so I'm gonna bring you guys in, I'm gonna show y'all. So I use these little medicine cups, which work great. They really work really good. And I'm just trying to, it's my light, sorry. It's just been a day. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use a couple of different colors. I'm going to use, and I have to put my glasses back on because, you know, I can't see. So I'm gonna use Kelly Green, Sour Apple, um, I'm going to use some cream brulee and of course onyx. So I believe those are the ones I'm going to use. Um, oh, Maine, that's a beautiful part of the country. Um, so let me get all of this turned over here and we'll get started. I'll let y'all see exactly what it is I'm doing um, so that you can... Let me spec it. If I turn this light off and turn this one on, maybe it will be better and not be so. Uh, I don't think that made it any better. 
I'm just gonna have to have a, a cast, I guess, tonight. You know, technology is great and all these wonderful things are great, but some nights it just, it doesn't seem to work right. Hi, hi. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how I mix it. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit and all I'm going to do, because I'm just using it on such a small surface here, um, I don't really need a whole lot. So I've already shaken this and so I'm just going to Pour out some. Probably just pour it like this. I love this color. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to get all my colors poured out first, and then we will do the other. I'm trying to keep that cast off there, and I'm so sorry. Maybe that's a little better. So let me pull that right there. All right, same thing. These are just great. All right, and this, I like this color too. It's really pretty. And I'm totally making up way more than I probably need, um, but it's better to have enough than not have enough. This is the creme brulee, which I won't be using very much of that. So I like to mix this Texture Magic with the paint up to like a really, really thick brownie batter. I like it pretty thick and crumbly, um, but also where it stays together. Not too crumbly where it falls apart, but enough to where, and I'm gonna use a good bit of black because I have more black area to cover, I believe. Um, so I really like that, um, like that brownie batter consistency. And I feel like it does a really good job. Um, I feel like it does a really, really good job when you're creating that depth. So we've got some really pretty colors and I may end up adding some more, but like I said, we're using creme brulee. We are using sour apple and of course, Kelly green and black onyx. So I'm gonna throw some gloves on too because I did just get my nails done yesterday because we're going out of town tomorrow. So let me get that on. All right, there we go. All right, and this is the Texture Magic, okay? It's a powder, comes in this great little container. Okay, it looks like flour, it does not flour. All right, <laughs> get it, Jesse. All right, so I'm gonna start with a heaping spoon or popsicle stick, okay? And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start with a little and I'm gonna mix it until I get it where I like. And if it mixes up really good, then I like to add a little bit more. So I'll just do a little at a time. So this is scoop two. Okay, a little bit more. Like I said, I like it where it's a little bit thicker. I really like to have that texture. I really like to see that texture because I will probably go back through and add some um, colors to it as well. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, can you see, it's still pretty thick, but very, still very fluid. Let me add just a little bit more, just for safe measure. All right, so I'm gonna set that one to the side. We're gonna do the same thing, sour apple. I just start with a little and I just keep adding until I get that texture, just how I want it. Just remember, you know, you can always add more. You can't take it away, you just have to add more paint. So, I usually just try to um, add a little bit at a time. Have you ever, has anybody ever used the Texture Magic on a piece of furniture? If you have, what was your experience like? Is there anything that you struggled with that maybe I can help you? So, this one's a little bit thicker and I kind of like it. That's really how I like it. So, I may add a little bit more to my Kelly Green. All right, it's gonna take a lot on this black because I put a lot more black in here. 
Um, and see how it doesn't, it doesn't change your color. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And so I use these little talc and brush, Calfon brushes to stipple this on. Um, see how that just falls out like batter? Works great. All right, and then the creme brulee. Oh, I'm throwing it at myself and everything. Does everybody have big plans for the weekend? Hopefully you guys can see me okay. I had a little bit of technical difficulty starting out. We've had some weather here today, a lot of rain and overcast, and so sometimes that's just not good for my service. Um, so hopefully I'm coming in okay. We even have boosters here, so. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with the consistency of all of that. So, then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wipe this off so I don't get it all over the cup. So I'm just gonna pull my Texture Magic out of the way because I am a slob when it comes to crafting, um, any kind of painting, so. All right, so let's see, let's start. So this area here is gonna be black. So I'm gonna do black here and I may hit it with a little bit of the creme brulee in there. And then we're gonna move on to some green through here, the Kelly green and the sour apple. We're gonna just kinda layer those together. Um, this will get fixed in the end because I've got something else um, I'm doing there. Hi, so let's get started. So I'm, hopefully the glare is not too bad tonight. Um, I don't know what the deal is with the glare today. This is not my first rodeo, but for some reason it's just not wanting to work tonight. It's just the way it is. Okay. So, let's see what color do I want to start with. So, I'm going to start, and let me get my cradle right here. Because that may help with showing y'all. Yeah, so, and that way I can raise it up. Okay. I feel like that's just too high now. So like I said, I just use these little Taclon brushes, okay? So let's start, I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna start with the black. So whenever I start, and as you can see, and the longer you let that set, the thicker it actually gets too. So I'm just gonna move it out of the way and I just take this little brush, less is always more, it doesn't take a ton. You can always layer it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start creating peaks and valleys, basically is what I call it. And I'm just buttoning that right up against there and I'm just literally, I'm dabbing it on. Very, very softly, I'm not, applying a lot of pressure. And I'm gonna let this sit for a bit before I pull it, um, just to make sure it gets a good, it sets up really good and I don't disturb it in any way. But can you see how that, you can see the texture there, okay? So once that dries, you'll have these little peaks and valleys, as like I like to call them, and then you can knock the, so if you're doing this on a piece of furniture, you can do that there like that, and then when it's all good and dry, um, and I usually wait about several hours before I try to sand any part of it down, um, if you even want to do that, so but I think that this is just gonna give a lot of really good texture. So I'm gonna keep going down and then I'm gonna take that creme brulee and I'm going to mesh it in here with this black. 
And you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. And this is not, this right here is not gonna work though. Hopefully you guys can see that. Sometimes it's very difficult to do. Especially when you're trying to do it backwards. So I'm just really going over those areas, just dipping my brush down in there. I'm not getting too much. I can always layer a little bit more back on there. And you can see where it's not super thick there. I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna make it just a little bit thicker just to cover up so there's no holes. So I'm just stippling it on and creating those hills and valleys, peaks and valleys and whatever you wanna call it, whatever works for you to refer it to. So I'm just gonna kind of keep going. And I usually work pretty quick with this. And it's it's great to work in just small spot spaces. Any questions you have, let me know. Um, I will try to answer them. Thank you, Kimberly, I appreciate that. Okay. So I think I got a pretty good coat of the black. I may have to go back and add a little bit more here in a minute, but I'm gonna be okay with that black for just a second. And I'm gonna use some of the creme brulee. And you can see it's really thickening up, okay? And you can really see the texture there. So, and that's what translates onto this cup. So I'm just taking another brush. I just get the excess off in case I need that again. And I'm going to blend this up into the black. So I'm gonna start right here on the bottom. Before I touch the black, I'm just gonna kind of butt it up close to there. And I'm trying to do this where there's not a glare. Maybe that's a little bit better. It's so hard to do this um, backwards. Okay, can you see that texture? This is gonna this is gonna look really good. So by the time it's all said and done, um, it's gonna be a really cool desert scene on this cup. It'll be very similar to this one. Okay, very similar, but a little different. I, I love, love using this. It's so easy to work with. It's so easy to work with. It's literally like mixing up batter. Okay, so I butted all that up right there together. So now I'm gonna kind of blend those together. And let's see, let me see if I've got anywhere else. No. All right, so I'm just gonna use this cream brulee brush and I'm gonna Try to show y'all this here in just a second. So it's not, and I'm gonna come back with the black a little bit just so it kind of blends in there and I'm gonna drag some of the black down into that creme brulee. I told you it doesn't take much. That's why it's real important to just start with a little. You don't wanna have to waste it because you really have to use this um, the same day because the longer it sets, the thicker it gets. So only mix up what, you're, what you intend on using. All right, so I'm gonna come back with the black. I'm gonna pull it back, pull it down into that creme brulee a little bit. It's just gonna give it some more depth down in there. And if y'all hear dogs barking, it's because the puppies are out to keep them from barking so much. They've been on one today. It's been raining, so they haven't really been out. Okay. 
So I'm pretty happy with that. Let me just work it down just a little bit more. Can you see where I'm blending that in together? And if I miss any questions, um, Keely's on here. She'll probably help answer some. And then I will go back and answer any that you may have if I don't see them um, during the duration of this live. Okay, so I'm good with that. So now I'm gonna start with the, now I'm gonna do the greens. Which, like I said, I really, really like that Kelly green. So I'm just gonna put these over in, a, in the water. All right, so all these are gonna get green right through there. So like I said, this is not gonna be a long live at all. So the Kelly green's a little bit thinner than what I normally do, but I'm gonna show y'all how it looks as well. This is gonna be really pretty. I think so anyways. Especially once I finish it, I'll be sure to post final pictures. All right, so I'm gonna start with, seems like that's a good angle right there. So I'm gonna start with the Kelly green. Okay, same thing, I'm just gonna stipple it on. You don't have to worry about getting it super thick to start. like that and I'm just going to kind of go over it because I'm going to come back and really give it an overall wash with that um, sour apple so I'm just going over the whole thing and y'all can probably hear the dogs because I can hear them they're playing right now So we're getting there, going over the whole thing. I'm gonna butt it right up next to that other one. I'm just gonna let it kind of set up a second before I go in with the sour apple. And it really doesn't take a whole long time for it to set up, um, as long as you kind of work in thin coats. It really doesn't. Take that all the time. So see, you see how I don't have a whole lot of coverage there. So I'm just gonna give it a moment to just kind of set up. So, and I also like on this cup, I added some of the champagne um, shimmering luster there. I'm probably gonna go back and add a little sparkle to it as well. We'll see when I get done with it. It's one of those, hey Amanda, um, we'll just have to wait and see what I decide I like to do. Sometimes I know and sometimes I just don't know which way it's gonna take me. Okay, so I've given that just a second. So now I'm gonna go in with the sour apple and it's pretty thick. That sour apple is thick. Okay, so I'm just going to start stippling it on. And then I'll pull it up real close to you so you can see the texture here in just a second. Because I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Kelly Green to it as well. And then it's gonna get some nice paint lines on there once all this gets ripped off and dry tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but probably Sunday when I get back. So we're just covering that whole area. I'm gonna be up in your neck of the woods tomorrow, I believe, Amanda. Don't ask me where we're going. We're going, I don't know. I just know that it's in Indiana. I have a doctor's appointment and then we have some other stuff going on since we're gonna be up that way. Okay. 
So I know it kind of looks like a, uh, oh, thanks. So it kind of looks like a hot mess right this moment, but it's going to be really pretty when it dries. I have faith in it. Okay. So now I'm just going to kind of mesh those together. And then I'm going to pull it up close so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So that is pretty much it. All right. I think that's pretty much all we're going to have to do tonight. So I always kind of start small. All right. So there's the texture magic with the greens. Can you see the texture? So once that dries, I mean, you're really gonna have those peaks and all those peaks and you can kind of see where this is already starting to dry. So all that will be raised areas. And so I can choose to either knock those off or I can maybe add a little bit more color there um, with just regular paint if I want to, which I may do. Um, not really sure yet. So let's see if it's had enough time to kind of set up in one spot so I can kind of show you. It may not have had enough time yet to set up, so we'll see. This may be one of those that I have to show you after it has a little bit of time. Let me just try to cut a little section out. So just bear with me a moment. Let me take my gloves off. I do miss y'all up there, Amanda. I do. Indiana's a pretty state. I think so. I mean, it's there's a lot of flat, but there's also some really pretty areas in Indiana. Okay. Let's see if I can get a hold of this. Goodness gracious. The spinal is no joke. So I'm going to show you in just a second. It's working. It seems to be working pretty good. Oh yeah, this looks really cool. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm trying to concentrate here so I don't mess this up. All right. Hang on, I'm gonna pull all this off so y'all can see what this looks like. I should have left my gloves on. All right, let's see. Let me get this other side lifted here. Hello, hello, Joyce. Where are you tuning in from? Tell me where. I like to know. Okay, we're getting there. It's getting there. Hopefully I didn't just mess it up because that one little spot curled. I can see a spot where I messed up. No big deal. I'll clean it up after it completely dries. Okay. All right, let me see if I can clean that up really quick, actually, because it's going to drive me crazy. All right, so it looks actually really cool. Hello, hello. Oh, Florida, nice. Nice sunny weather right now, huh? Okay, so let me move this out of the way before I make it all awful again. Okay. 
So, uh, what I have used tonight, kind of a quick recap, is I have used the Texture Magic, okay? It is, it literally looks like flour. And I have mixed that in to the paints um, to create some texture, dimension, all kinds of fun stuff. And so I've used that on this desert scene. So it's not completely dry yet and it's gonna get a whole lot more stuff to it. But can you see the texture? It's gonna be really, really cool once it's fully dry, and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing right there. I'm not real sure, because I, I didn't quite get that made up exactly where I wanted it. Um, I do have a big sun that's gonna go up here. Um, so, it's really, really cool. So, I'll be adding some stuff to it. Cleaning up all my lovely lines so that everything matches up. Matter of fact, let me do that right this second, so I don't forget before my before my paint dries up. Let's see. I'm thinking. Let's go maybe like right through here, and I'll just create a little something right there. bit of that sour apple mixed in there. And then maybe add just a little. Oh yeah, that would be good, Tosh. Yeah. I'll have to wait for it to completely dry. But it's so cool looking. I love the way it looks. It's going to be really neat once it fully dries. It's going to be pretty neat. I seem to think so. So, that's how you use the Texture Magic. So, mix it up. Mix a little at a time. As you can see, I made up a whole lot more than what I needed. The longer it sits out, the thicker it's actually going to get. Um, start small. You can always add to it. No big deal. You can always add more. You can't take away without adding more paint. So, don't waste your product. Just start small. So um, that's how you use it. Use that on a piece of furniture. If you're a tumbler maker, there's several tumbler makers on this lab. Um, use it on a tumbler. Let me know how you like it. Um, what I also like to do, and this one should be dry. So where this one is dry right here, you can see all the texture right through there. And you can literally take, um, and just for the sake of this lab, Okay, because I can fix it. I can fix this. So let me show you. I'm just going to add, where's the black? So all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of my onyx on a brush, no texture magic or anything on there. And I'm just going to show you how you can take and just kind of go over that texture there. Let's see if I can do it without the, okay, yeah, right there. So you can literally, I usually take all my excess off. I usually use like kind of like a dry brush. I'm gonna show you. All right, so can you see where the black just really got on those tips? should not lose any of the dimension of that. It should actually um, show up pretty well, honestly. Um, just because I don't typically knock those peaks off. You can see them sticking up right there. So they're gonna take a little bit more epoxy to cover. So it works really cool. Thank you. So that is how you use the Texture Magic. It's a really cool project. It gives you that chippy look on your furniture as well. It gives you that old look 
you can use as much as you want or least amount you want. So just practice with it. I always say grab yourself a scrap piece of wood. Everything I do, I always grab a scrap piece of wood before I ever try to put it on a piece of furniture. If it's a new technique, just practice. Just grab a, everybody's got scrap pieces of wood laying around or a picture frame. So just try it on that. See how you like it. Figure out how to get your groove going. Um, and then translate that into your furniture or your tumbler or any kind of art medium that you want to do. So, um, I hope that that was helpful. I think it's going to look so cool once it's dry. I mean, I'm really in love with those cactuses. They look insane. And I don't know how they're showing up on camera, but they are cool. They are very, very cool. So I'll go back and I'm gonna add some paint lines through there once it's fully dry. Um, and then I'll be sure to post the final picture once it is all done. It's probably might get a little bit of sparkle. I'm not sure yet, so we'll wait and see. Um, but that is it. Any questions, please put them below. One of us will grab them. And I hope y'all have a great weekend, and I will see y'all, I believe I'm back next Tuesday. Can't, I'm not 100%, but I believe it's next Tuesday. Anyways, you can find the events on the page. Just go to events. You can see everything that we've got going on. So, y'all have a great night, and I will talk to you.